Okay, in this help video, we're going to show you how to actually set up and create your rates for your rental property. Once you log into your dashboard, again, you're going to go to listings, drop down that menu, go to manage listings. When you see the properties that you have available to edit, click on the pencil icon to the right to edit the property that you need to change the rates for. This will call up the editing. Um, the editor for your property and you'll notice that we have different sections we already did the overview and we already did the media so we're going to go into the payment section here when you click on payments you'll notice there's three sub tabs here you have your rates your add-ons and your discounts we'll cover each one independently to start with your rates I'm going to give you a quick overview of the different fields and then we'll set one up real quick to show you what it what it can do We've uh, put a lot of thought into our software to give you a lot of flexibility when creating your rates to customize them for exactly the way that you want to run the way you want to run your rental property. So title is a title such as summer season, winter season, spring season, whatever you'd like. The start date is the first date these rates are applied. The end date is the last date that these rates are applied. It's important that these do not overlap. Our system, our system won't allow you to have any rates overlap. So you got to try to do these in chronological order so that one date ends and then you can start the next date with the next rate period. The nightly rate is how much you charge per night if you rent by the night. The nightly rate weekend is what you charge for Friday and Saturday nights if you if you want to charge more for your weekend nights. The weekly rate is what you charge per week. The monthly rate is by month. The price is for how many people? How many people is this rate good for? And if you are wanting to be able to charge for additional people above this number, you can put in those additional charges here. So that if somebody wants to bring a couple extra people, you can do an add-on for what those extra people would cost based by night, week, or month. Your minimum stay is the minimum nights that they can stay. You can select this from one through seven and then multiple week stays as well. Your changeover day, we know how important this is. You can leave a blank if you don't have any changeover day or you can pick Saturday to Saturday, Friday to Friday, or you can even pick a start day such as Saturday with an any day as a checkout, meaning they can check out anytime they want, but they have to check in on the Saturday. Is this an active rate? Yes, special offer, no. And do you want to overwrite the rate? This. If you highlight over the little question mark, this tells you what the overwrite rate will do. Okay, so let's do a real quick example here on how this works. So for the title, I'm going to put 2017-2018 off season. And for my start date here, I'm going to select for my next off season for next year. So for this one, we're going to have this date start on October 10th. And we're going to have this end going into 2018 in April. So I'm going to have this end on April 27th because we're going to start our summer or spring period on April 28th. My nightly rate for this period is going to be uh, zero because I'm not going to rent it out by the week. I'm only going to rent it out weekly. So my weekly rate is going to be $13.50 for the off season. My number of persons is going to be seven and that's our maximum occupancy. We're not going to put any extra person charges in here because we don't allow anybody to bring more than seven people in our, in our rental. Minimum stay, we're going to make it seven nights in the off season and change over day. Um, we can actually leave the change over day blank because I don't care in the off season when people come and stay. But during the in season, we want Saturday to Saturdays because uh, we want to fit in the, the, the changeovers to fit just right. I'm going to leave this active, no special offer, no, no overwrite, and I'm going to add that rate. You'll see that add rate was a success. And now if I scroll down, you're going to see my calendar of rates, and I'll explain that in a second. But more importantly, you'll see at the very bottom down here is the rate that we just added, which is our 2017-18 off-season rate that starts on the 10th of October and goes till April 27th, and the rate is $13.50 a month for seven nights, any change over day. Now looking at this list, these are all the different rates that I created for my property. You can create as many rates as you want, or you can create just one rate period. You know, it, we created our system to give you the flexibility to be able to, to charge for your property the way you wish. My properties, we charge an off-season rate, and then when we open our pool in the spring, we start to charge more each week as we get closer to the peak season, which starts the last week in June and runs through Labor Day. And then in September, we ramp our rates down too till we go back to the off-season. You'll also notice we only allow Saturday to Saturday stays starting in May through um through September, and then we do a couple uh, special nights, special stays for Chatterfest and Kitefest too. So you can create this, customize it any way you wish. You can edit it once it's done. It's fully uh, up to you. 
Your rates calendar gives you a quick view color coded based on what your rates are. So each different color is a different rate. So you'll notice my off seasons, if I highlight over, it tells you for what rate period and how much it's going to be charged. And then as you go into April, when we start increasing our rates, you'll see they start going up. So for the next three weeks, they're dark green. They're at $15.50 a week. Then they go to this color green. It goes up again, so forth and so on. These summer rates that are all turquoise are all the same price. All these purple rates are the same price. And then we go to a different color green and then different rates as we, we go down. Now, again, you don't have to have as, as a complex rate schedule that I have. You can make one simple rate to cover you for you know the last week of June till the first week of August. And if you don't rent the off season, you don't have to put in any rates. That's fine. Okay. So that shows you how to add your rates to your listing. Your add-ons are in case you have any additional charges you want to add. In our property, we have an elevator. So you can see down here, we have an elevator activation. Now, you can create it here is how you would add something. I'm just going to edit mine, which will show you the list, the, the options that we had picked. So for the add-on type, this is an optional add-on. Our, our guests don't have to pick this if they don't want to. You can select mandatory if they must pick it, or if it's information only, you can pick info only. So it's optional. We gave it a title for elevator activation, which is what it is. Our price, okay, we decided to put in $200, but you can also see that we allow for percentage charges too, if you want to charge a percent for this. And then charge type. So is it, you know, for us, it's a weekly rate. It's $200 a week to rent our elevator, but you can customize it here too, charge by the person, by the day, monthly, weekly, however you wish. And is it active, yes or no? So um, we're going to save that. And then if you look at discounts, the discount page, we don't offer any discounts, but if you wanted to utilize this feature, you can. And uh, we'll do a separate tutorial on how to add discounts. So real quick, this is a tutorial on how to add your rates. And again, you'll need to add a separate rate for each different time period or each different rate period that you want to add. You have full flexibility to be able to customize it to what will fit your needs. And this will end this uh, video.